Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It's currently 9.59pm on Tuesday, April 20th in New York City, which means one minute till some Wednesday crosswords. Before that though, take a peek at yesterday's leaderboard, where uh, in first place we had a tie between me and Chris, or as I now call him, UIUC Chris, so I win the alphabetical tiebreak. Shout out to Chris. Uh, then we had PB Geckner, the Glorp, KFS Venta tied with Joe, Obi, and Amy. We had Gordo AM right behind. Then we had Pandaguchi, ERL, Stickers, all tied on 35 seconds. Ball Don't Lie, very fast time from Ball Don't Lie. Aerotangos, shout out to your new uh, Tuesday PB, Aerotangos. Then we had Bill Boris, Joy, Lydian, Panda Doggy, Philly Fom, and Taro Tuna, Phil, uh, Cape God, all under a minute. Then we had M Heath 17 to Nomad, Oriwana, Dalu, J, Sia Sophia, J Wu, and Lil Sun. Shout out to Lil Sun also on her Tuesday best. It's uh, it's always nice to uh, to get better at the crossword. I'm glad it's happening for many of you. Anyway, it's now 10 o'clock in New York City, which means with any luck, we should have some Tuesday crosswords. Sorry, some Wednesday crosswords because today is Tuesday. Uh, here's a spoiler alert for the Wednesday mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. Alright, we look pretty good here. Let's get into it. Dog. Down. Bobo. Head. Oh my gosh, I saw NPR <laughs> and typed in NPR. Head Radio R. Get it. Yeah. Reg Gene Page? Reggie Gene Page? I, I'm not familiar. I've never watched Bridgerton. It's a good thing I didn't go for all the downs. And then Sled. Head Radio R. Okay, 15 second mini, even with a little bit of a brain fart there. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. But now for the main event, that's the Wednesday Daily Grid, that's by Brandon Copy today. Here's a spoiler alert for the Daily Puzzle. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here and click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. Alright, without further ado, let's get into it. Put to shame, e.g. e.g. Harton, likely inspiration for the Devil Wars Prada, shorthand writer for short, Steno, hormone administered in some transgender therapies. Uh, testosterone doesn't fit estrogen. Suppress as a negative story. Muppet with a unibrow. Who has a unibrow? Bert? Deadlocked. Ooh. Uh, Fact-finding mission. Recon. And fox hunters cry. Tally-ho? Is that a thing? Iris holder could be the Uvia. This is even. Um, like old wood and new furniture reclaimed. It might actually be Tally-ho. So is this Burn? Star of the Deadpool films? No. Barry. Ryan Reynolds. That makes more sense. And others in the list is et al. Together in music. Adue. School in Grinch Village is NYU. Shout to Jowen. Is that for DH? RBIs maybe? When the clock springs forward. Um, Sci-fi sidekick or a hint. Wow. Uh, not sure. Sacrifices at the plate. Bunts. Sitting for a hootenanny. Beats by Dre, Silver Medalist Place, second? R2D2, wow. <laughs> uh, a barn, 2am, wow. Okay, so we got some some numbers in this grid. At least of high fidelity. Ah, uh, so it's two R's and two D's? It'd be Woot? Web portal with a Bing search engine. What? MSN? Birds of Paradise do a spectacular one, mating dance. Type who's prone to the munchies, stoner? Spoon say, not sure. Goddess and rule over the witches in Macbeth. Don't know it. Some do, -do partners, gals. Singer Annie DeFranco, I believe. Postmodern's novel, novelist who wrote White Noise. Plains Tribe member Oto. Trig ratio. Uh, cosine. Like that. Promotional text. Noggin. Noodle. Is it going to be cosin like this? Not sure about that. Little Jack Horner's Christmas Treat. Director Eastward, Eastwood Clint. Stink odor. Rats could be darn. So this is probably Cotan. Um, fashion icon with a numbered fragrance. 
Coco Chanel. Uh, two R's, two C's. Dive deep. Plunge, probably. Uh, K is Kilo, I believe. Heavy duty cutters. Test for future PHE is GRE. This is Nestle, so it's Otos. This is Puddle. Yep. Switch positions and you're out here. Uh, Anna Wintour. Um, still don't know that. Switch positions. Best ever is a goat. I like that. Michael of REM, not sure. Popular holiday gift of 2001. iPod. Embrace something embarrassing. Own it. Or own up. Probably own it. Word with guitar or wool steel. Because I think this one is Wicca or Witcha. Problems I come to a head. And color on a Jacksonville Jaguars uniform is teal. Winner of seven Tonys in 1977 is Annie. And what is this? Not sure. Stand up comedian who voiced Remy. Not sure. Nice wheels. Sweet ride. Innermost. Michael. Some are sapphic odes, maybe, and coming right up. Um, hole punchers. Alls? WW3, probably, here, I'm guessing. Rapper who's half of Run the Jewels. Not sure. 100 centavos. Peso? Patton Oswalt here. Lice. I see. Anna Cold uh, C3PO. Uh, I see. Okay. In case else. Um, coming right up. Sweet ride here. Michael of REM. Zenith. Uh, hmm. I'm getting thrown off by this one. Innermost. Switch positions on, off, off. What? Oh, ons, ons. But I don't know this proper noun, and I don't know what this is. Inter so should this be central? Oh, this could be lest instead. There we go. This is next. Apex, Michael Stipe, apparently. This is a base. EG, EG is an abbreviation. Harton. And. Oh, buoy, benet. I think this is adue, but what is this? Pop variety. S Cola, hecate. Uh, ad copy and Don somebody Tang Dynasty poet wow nifty slick first of 13 popes Leo the first Ooh, but I don't know this Don Delello uh, and what is little Jack Corner's Christmas tree pie Lapo I'm gonna have to guess some letters here um What is Little Jack Horn's Christmas treat? Hmm. Okay, let's try the let's try the oh that, that was it. Man, this is tough. Don DeLillo crossing Lee Po with Pi. Yikes. Wow, that's um I think this is what you would call a, a natic. Although I guess yeah, I wasn't thinking that Lee would hear would be the last name. Which is maybe okay, because it's a common last name, but the Po, it's hard to get. Uh, the word Natick, by the way, refers to a town in Massachusetts. But it's a term that was coined by Rex Parker, very maybe the most famous crossword blogger, where if you have two proper nouns that cross, and it basically is impossible to guess the letter because there are several possibilities that will work, you would call that a Natick. And I'm not familiar with Don DeLillo or Lee Po, so this is a tough cross. And then I wasn't familiar with Little Jack Horner's Christmas tree either, but maybe that's maybe that's my fault. Anyway, this puzzle is very interesting because it has numerals in it. Um, so two R's and two D's here. R two D two. Ryan Reynolds, Don DeLillo, and then C three P O is Coco Chanel and Patton Oswalt, which is interesting. I do love Star Wars. But I'm not, I'm not sure if I love the theme. I do like the numerals in it. That like adds a little extra wrinkle. Yeah. So I, I suspect that this puzzle probably plays a little bit difficult because of the numerals and this crossing. So let me know if that's where you ran into issues. I did figure out the, uh, the numerals pretty fast. Um, anyway, let's take a peek around the puzzle and, and Google some of the stuff that I didn't know. Bert. Baseball. Love. I mean, Will Shorts loves baseball clues, I think. 
Yuvia is probably pretty hard. Lisa Benet, too. Crossing... Bowie, meaning Harton, was kind of tough. I did know Anna Wintour. Is it, or is it Anna Wintour? I think it's Anna Wintour. Who is Lisa Benet? Wait, is this, um... Yeah, the Cosby Show, Lisa Benet. Who I've actually Googled earlier this year, Lisa Michelle Benet. Well, she now goes by Lila Koi Moon. Oh, that's her name. She professionally goes by Lisa Benet. I see. Um, okay. Ryan Reynolds. NYU, again, shout out to all my NYU alum viewers, which is at least Jaywoo. If I've forgotten you, let me know. Annie DeFranco, very common on crosswords, clue just that way. I, I pronounce this Hecate, but <laughs> pronouncing it like the, the beer. It's probably not pronounced that way, huh? I don't want to get some more flack from Sophia, and uh, it's Hecate. Hecate. It's not like the <laughs> the beer Tecate, apparently. Okay, who is Don DeLillo, who gave me so much trouble here at the end? American novelist, short story writer, playwright, screenwriter, and essayist. You wrote White Noise. Twice been a Pulitzer Prize for Fiction finalist. I don't know. I'm not. I wasn't familiar with him, but my knowledge of authors like this is probably lower than the average crossword solver. So maybe that's not an unfair crossing. But to me, this is pretty tough. Yeah, Otos and Utes and Osage Indians are oftentimes in the crossword, important to know. Who is Little Jack Horner, who also gave me a little bit of trouble? English nursery rhyme. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. That does sound vaguely familiar, but... Man, not, not in my wheelhouse, let's put it that way. Coco Chanel. So a little like fashion theme there with Anna Wintour. Yeah. C3PO. The numerals are interesting. And the, the crosses for the numerals are all like th this 13 down makes the numerals actually maybe not that tricky, right? That's what it took to get it. Um, yep, one of the downs. ABBR is not great, but fine. Tally Ho, which I actually knew off of the T, but <laughs> not because I've done a lot of fox hunting. A due is pretty hard, I think. Mating dance. Ad copy is also probably not really something I'm that familiar with. Lipo, clued as Lipo and not Lipo. They could have easily clued it as like liposuction. But actually, it seems more commonly anglicized as li bai, also sort of li bo. Yeah, I'm sure very important poet, very important historical figure to know, but crossing two proper nouns that could be difficult is uh, is pretty rough in a crossword. It's only a, it's only a Wednesday. That feels like a chop saws. It feels like a Friday level cross to me. Cleo is one of the muses to know. It's also an ad award. That's something to know. Michael Stipe, I didn't know. Um, yeah, problems that come to a head. Cute, cute, cute clue for there. World War Three. ELP. Don't know ELP. I'm <laughs> tempted to say ELP, but... Maybe it, maybe it is? Wait. Ra oh no, Rabber, who's half of Run the Jewels. Oh, it's LP. <laughs> so, neither thing that I said. <laughs> it's L hyphen P. Yeah, to me, the uh, the proper nouns in this puzzle were a bit much. I don't think, um, I don't know. These are not that obvious to me in that I didn't know them. LP, Lipo, Don DeLillo. I mean, I knew Anna Wintour, but that's like, uh, certainly Ryan Reynolds and Coco Chanel are, are very fair game. Patton Oswalt, too, probably. But Stipe, LP, and Lee Poe, and Crossing Don DeLillo, I think is pretty tough for a Wednesday. That said, I did, uh, 
do a pretty clean job on the fill, so in the end, the time wasn't so bad. Yeah, still below my Wednesday average. Um, this best was really a fluke. And before we go, let's just take a peek at the leaderboard for tomorrow. Shout out to stickers, KFS Venta, congrats to KFS Venta, Joy, and Jay. Always nice to see you on the leaderboard, nice and early. Shout out to you. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you tomorrow for some Thursday puzzles.